We now come to our honorary fellowships. These are awarded to distinguished people connected with the art or science of photography. Nominations always far exceed the number of honorary fellowships that are available, and it is my great pleasure to announce the recipients for 2021. Van Lee Burke is often described as the godfather of black British photography. His iconic images have captured the evolving cultural landscape and societal change and have stimulated debate in Britain over the past four decades. Van Lee's substantial archive is housed in the Library of Birmingham and he has exhibited widely, including in the United States, South Africa and China. The Royal Photographic Society Award to me means a great deal. It means it, it, and it, it's come at the right time, I suppose, in my life. It's a time when you're adding things up. As you can see from the files on my right here, I am archiving some of the material. And so to be offered an award at this stage is, I think, absolutely wonderful. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. And that it's come from an institution that I've respected and one that, um, you know, the, the, my my been chosen was um, told by a, a group of people and not of my seeking. So thank you very much. It means a great deal to me. Photography in general, photography as I practice it, um, means a great deal. Um, it's the means by which I've chosen, or should I say it chose me to speak through. Um, as a young lad I became interested in photography um, through a gift I had from my mother. Um, so the camera was my interest at that point, and later I became in, interested in the, like, the art of photography, what can the camera do, and I choose to use it to document the lives and experience of the people from where I came, from the Caribbean in general. And I've been doing so for a number of years now, so photography means a great deal to me. It is the means by which I've traveled uh, quite extensively, it's the means by which I'm speaking to you today. Um, it has necessitated all of these uh, processes and one which I continue to live and strive to take photographs more. Thank you very much for the award. Valley Export is a pioneer in film, video and installation art. Valley has produced one of the most significant bodies of feminist art in the post-war period. Her groundbreaking films and performances in the 1960s and 1970s introduced a new form of radical, embodied feminism to Europe, examining the politics of the body in relation to its environment, culture and society. I have been following the history of the Royal Photographic Society for a long time. And I am very proud that my photographic work is so appreciated and recognised. I am honoured to receive this award and as I am aware that the collection has a great significance in the international history of photography. I take photography as a female artist and as a human being from my own point of view. You have to go against some rules of the state that suppress people's liberties. The center of my work is the body and moreover the female body. I have been involved with the photographic medium since the late 60s, often in combination with performances, films, as well as installation and objects. With the documentation of my performances I began with conceptual photography in the 70s. It is related for me with the study, with the studies of time and space. In the 80s, I began, began to get a big interest for my for the digital photography. I discovered for myself the digital photography. It shows my constant interest in further development of the technical possibilities that the medium offers me. Lola Flash has been working at the forefront of genderqueer visual politics for more than three decades. 
Her work challenges stereotypes and gender, sexual and racial preconceptions. An active member of ACT UP during the time of the AIDS epidemic in New York City, Lola was notably featured in the 1989 Kissing Doesn't Kill poster. Her art and activism are profoundly connected, fueling a lifelong commitment to visibility and preserving the legacy of LGBTQIA and communities of colour worldwide. She is currently a proud member of the Kamungi Collective and is on the board of Queer Art. Hello, my name is Lola Flash and I'm an artist who uses photography to challenge stereotypes. I've been doing this work for over three decades. My work is directly connected to my activism. Without that, I don't know what I would be photographing. But the point of my work is really to show the beauty in our differences. And with that, I would like to thank the Royal Photographic Society for making me a recipient for the 2021 award. As you know, the Royal Photographic Society has been around for a minute. They've honored such folks as Man Ray, Mark Seeley, Renee Cox, Deborah Willis, all folks who I ser are seriously admire. And now I can add my name to that list. So I'd like to thank all the people who have helped me get here. It's been a long road, and I really appreciate the Royal Photographic Society for seeing me, for seeing me for who I am. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The artistic practice of Latoya Ruby Frazier spans a range of media, including photography, video, performance, installation art, and books. It centers on the nexus of social justice, cultural change, and commentary on the American experience. In various interconnected bodies of work, Latoya uses collaborative storytelling to address topics of industrialism, Rust Belt revitalization, environmental justice, access to health care, access to clean water, workers' rights, human rights, family and communal history. This builds on her commitment to the legacy of 1930s social documentary work and 1960s and 70s conceptual photography that address urgent social and political issues of everyday life. What the Royal Photographic Society Award means to me is that the 20 years I've been photographing and storytelling with working class families across the United States and Europe is valuable and culturally significant. What photography means to me is social justice, cultural change, and activism. It will always be necessary to use the camera as a tool to fight for human rights. Dana Lixenberg is known for her stripped down portraits that revel in the elemental characteristics of her subjects. Dana uses a large format field camera, which necessitates what she refers to as a slow dance between her and her subjects. The resulting portraits contain an enormous amount of detail and texture and are as revelatory as a personal encounter. The power of the work derives from its intimacy, compositional rigour, and importantly, the absence of social stereotyping. In addition to her extensive editorial practice, for which she has photographed many cultural icons, Dana pursues long-term projects with a primary focus on marginalised communities. Hi everyone, uh, what a great honour to be recognised for my work. Thank you to um, colleagues and members of the photographic community for noticing the work, photography is my life and it's very humbling and I'm, I'm grateful also to be in such wonderful company uh, with the other artists uh, that were honoured this year. Um, thank you. Alex Soth is a photographer born and based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He's a member of Magnum, he's published over 25 books and he has had over 50 solo exhibitions. Alec has been the recipient of numerous fellowships and awards. These include the Guggenheim Fellowship, and in 2008, he created Little Brown Mushroom, a multimedia enterprise focused on visual storytelling. Hi there, this is Alec Soth in St. Paul, Minnesota, and it is such an honor to receive the RPS Award. 
The reason I became a photographer was because I was this very introspective kid. I was creative, but living in my own head. And the camera gave me this portal out into the world. It gave me an excuse to interact with people and places and things. And it also became this way to discover a lineage, a history. And the Royal Photographic Society is, is at the heart of that history. So to be recognized is just a really big honor. And so I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Mitra Tabrizian is an Iranian British artist and filmmaker. Her photographic work has been exhibited and published widely and is represented in major international museums and public collections. Solo museum shows include Tate Britain and she exhibited in the Iranian Pavilion at the Venice Biennale. She was awarded the Royal Academy's Rose Award for Photography in 2013. Many thanks for awarding me this uh, honorary fellowship. It means a lot to receive a recognition from one of the most established, the oldest um, photographic societies. The Royal Photographic Society has not only been a great promoter of photographers for decades, but their role as an educational charity committed to bringing photography to everyone has been most invaluable. Uh, Walter Benjamin, one of the greatest thinkers of 20th century, once said, the illiterate of the future will not be the man or the woman who cannot read the alphabet, but the one who cannot take a photograph. This summarizes best for me the importance of photography, so thank you. Nominations for the 2022 RPS Awards are now open. Visit our website to find out more.